What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing for you of the 27 inch Apple LED cinema display. Let's go ahead and dig in. So think of the cinema display as a 27 inch iMac minus the Mac. It really shares all the screen components that its bigger brother does. So let me go ahead and run through the specs real quickly and then we'll go ahead and dig in. This guy's going to set you back just about shy of $1,000, uh, which is pretty comparable prices to like models from Dell and Samsung. Uh, the resolution is going to be 2560 by 1440. 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it's going to actually give you 60% more pixels than the outgoing 24 inch model, of course it's LED backlit. It's got something called in-pane switching or IPS you might have heard of it. Uh, it gives you pretty good visibility from all angles. It's got a built in eyesight, it's got a microphone, it's got three USB ports, ambient light sensor, it makes its connection via mini display port. So if you want to use this with any other computer other than a Mac that doesn't have a mini display port, you can have a bit of difficulty. Uh, it also has um, a built-in light sensor. Something to keep in mind. Enough of me yapping. Let's go ahead and dig into this guy. So, of course, we will use uh, Senor Stabo for this. So, on the box, you've got a picture of the 27-inch LED cinema display. Probably seen what this looks like before. Here's a sort of rehash of the specs on the top, and I'll point with the knife. Another picture on the side, and on the back, you've got exactly what you have on the front picture of the device. Alright, so with Apple there generally are some compromises to be made. Uh, while there might be spec for spec pretty comparable price wise with other models, you are going to get limited input. So you're just left with the display port option here. You don't have an HDMI in or out, uh, which for me was okay. I plan on using it just as a monitor. But if you need something that you want to do gaming on or hook a Blu-ray player up to, uh, you're going to want to look elsewhere. If you need something that's just going to be a monitor to hook up with your Mac, uh, the LED cinema display is going to be a pretty good option. And of course, I'll be reviewing this guy and see if it really is worth uh, the money. So I'll go ahead and cut the plastic here. And there was a lot of it. Go ahead and open this up. Missed just a little bit of the plastic on the side. Alright, so we have our literal seal broken. 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 Designed by Apple in California. I'm not sure what they're going to give you in here. I mean, can't be any driver or anything, you're supposed to just plug it in. But let's go ahead and check it out. Looks like it's just some uh, warranty information and a Apple cleaning cloth. Whoop de doo. Go ahead and pull this out. There's just some styrofoam packing here on top. And inside you've got the cinema display. Let's go ahead and see if I can pull this guy out of here. There it is. So we'll pull this out, looks like there are some cords, some more cords, it looks like that's it. So let's pull the box off to the side, let's take a look at the cinema display itself. This guy is not light, I'll tell you. Alright, so let's go ahead and take off the sort of cloth-ish uh, protective casing that's got on it. This is probably the only time I'm ever going to see this thing smudge free, so I always enjoy it. You guys will actually see it first before I will. I'm like a magician. Voila. All right, so here is the 27-inch display. Uh, it looks sort of very similar to what we've seen off of past models. Uh, dissimilar to the iMac. Uh, it's got sort of the black face around it. It doesn't have any sort of chin. Uh, it's got the edge-to-edge -edge glass that you see, and there's the eyesight. And the microphone lives right on top. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back, which is where all these ports and options are going to live. Uh, and it feels almost the same weight as the 27-inch uh, iMac, interestingly enough. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pull this guy back. Let's go ahead and take a look at the specs here. So you've got three USB ports, and that's about it. Power cord in the back. This is where some of the uh, things that make this unique and serve a perfect complement to a Mac live are these cords that come out of it. So you've got the display port option, of course, which is able to use uh, with any modern Mac. You also have a MagSafe adapter, which you can charge any sort of Mac with. It's really meant for a laptop accessory, so you can charge your MacBook Air, MacBook, MacBook Pro, and the USB port to connect to power. Interestingly enough, these three USB ports on the back right here will draw power even when the monitor is off, so you're getting essentially a three USB port hub. And we just have sort of your standard 
Apple power cord. So of course I will use this guy, I will review this guy, and I'll let you know if it's worth it. Be sure to stay tuned to Techno Buffalo for all the details. I am John Rettinger and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.